Hi, I'm Gary, and this is my story. The pattern of my life is that I don't really hold on to things. It's, it's very easy for me to let go of things and people and places, but also lifestyles. It has been, when I look at the pattern of changes of my lifestyle, I see that I would just drop one thing and go on to something new. And this means that I haven't really been able to hold on to things. So it's no surprise to me that I haven't had a career or a family, things like that. I, att I attribute that to the electroshock because I see other people who have survived pretty bad abuse still manage to hold on to things. But I see that people who have had electroshock are not able to do that. But there's one thing that the electroshock cannot affect, which is my high self. So really, it's my higher self that has directed my life. And that has led me to to a point where I realize that that is the only thing that I can preserve and hold on to because I don't really have a choice. And that means that I have gone down a more spiritual path. It's something that I, it's a path that I appreciate having gone down, but I'm not saying that it's justified to, to give someone an elect electroshock so that they will go down this path. No, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that the things that life has put in my path, I find that there is some of it that I appreciate. So now I'm going into that very controversial zone where bad things are good because they lead to good outcomes. I've come to a point of peace about that controversial point of view, not by reversing my judgment to say that those bad things are good, but just removing it. Just to have the point of view that it's not good or bad, it's just what is necessary to achieve a certain result. It's still, it's still controversial, and I still have a lot of hurt left to heal from those harmful things that happened to me. But I'm, I'm quite influenced by the point of view that if they led to a good outcome that I feel happy with, then I could at least remove my judgment of them as bad things. But it has taken some time for me to come to that. By looking at it in that way, to look at the overall, overall outcome, and to see that what I'm happy with outweighs what I'm unhappy with, then I can see that that I am no longer so hurt by what happened. But I'm not saying that it was okay to do that. And I still continue to speak out against things like that being done to people because the the positive outcome that I have seems to be quite rare. In the majority of cases, from what I gather, people are more likely to self-destruct when, when going through such things or pass on that destruction to the next generation. It's only through that controversial point of view that I can come to a, an overall positive view of what has happened. That is to say that the 
outcome doesn't justify what happened, but it I don't think make it makes it okay is quite the right thing either. It's more like something that I had to go through to get to a place where I couldn't get to if I hadn't gone through that. A trial to achieve a goal. Because I'm I'm removed from it and that abuse and and that suffering isn't happening anymore, I, I'm able to consider different ways of looking at it to find what makes me feel better about it. Aside from what is really true or not, I do look for that point of view that best suits me. And if I have evidence that supports it, then it, that's it that's even better but I'm still I'm still investigating not all the parts of my mind are satisfied with with this outcome because they they demand more evidence so I will have to see how things go in the future whether I get more of that evidence whether I care to have more evidence Wait and see.